sampling techniques. We're going to take a look at five different sampling techniques, but the first one we want to see and take a look at is simple random sampling right here. And sometimes simple random sampling is referred to as SRS. You might read that in a book, you may read that, you may hear me talk about it in class, but it's pretty basic because what you have is the S, the R, and the S, simple random sampling, okay? Well, <clears throat> let's say this is my population. I've got 30 people in my population. Maybe they're 30 students. They could possibly be 30 uh, dog walkers. They could be 30 um, voters, 30 senior citizens. It doesn't really make a difference, but there's my population. And out of my population, I want to get a sample of 10. So I want to get a sample of 10 of these uh, voters or dog walkers from my population. With simple random sampling, one of the first thing that you, things that you need to do is take your population and you need to number them off. So this guy is number one, this guy is number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I can continue all the way until I get over here to number 30, okay? The next thing that you need to do for simple random sampling is to take each one of those numbers and randomly choose the numbers and then those would be the people that you would interview or survey. There's some different ways that you could do that. Very basically, you could just put the numbers 1 through 30 in a hat and then draw numbers out of the hat. And the first 10 numbers that you draw would be the 10 people that you are going to survey. Or you could use technology. There is a function on your graphing calculators that we'll talk about in class a little bit more that can randomly generate numbers between 1 and 30, or you could randomly generate numbers on the calculator between 1 and 100. That's what I, for those of you that know what the uh, 43, cent, uh, 43 cent pop game is, that's how I uh, choose the number to determine whether you win the pop for free or you have to pay for it. So you could use technology to randomly generate numbers. And let's say that the numbers, when I randomly generate them, the numbers that come up are the numbers 5, the first one that comes up, and then the next number that comes up is 30, so that one is right here. The next number that comes up is 19, so let's see, 7, 8, 9, 10, this one's 20, so right here is 19. The next number that comes up is 10, and then the next number that comes up is 5 again. Oh, what do I do if I get 5 a second time? Well, I just skip over it, I just ignore it as if it wasn't even there. I don't count number five twice, or I should say, I don't interview or survey number five twice. That would be pointless. So I skip over, over number five. And then the next numbers that come up are one, 11. The next number that comes up is 25. Do I have 10 yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need three more. 26 is the next number that comes up. 21 comes up, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I need one more, so the next number that comes up is 30 again. Well, once again, I do not interview 30 a second time, and then the next number that I get is 8. So that would be my sample. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I just interview those 10 people because those were the 10 numbers that came up on, on my calculator or those are the 10 numbers that I drew out of a hat. That is simple random sampling. And we'll use simple random sampling for our other sampling techniques as well. So make sure that you understand SRS.